Discover survival's mysteries of nature. Hunter and Hunted. The fight for food demands that animals become enemies in a deadly game of victim and predator. Few escape the battle. Few animals escape the attentions of predators. As animals develop As animals develop As animals develop their birds and other in the river the jumping spider. In the rivers of India, in the rivers of India, many, the jumping spider, there are few animals, the, while, while many animals hunt alone for, the, for their own sol, solitary benefit, this does not always bring the greatest rewards. The wealth, the, the, the locust has no, another insect that's an expert at leaping out of danger, is the tiny sandhopper. On the beaches where it lives, the sandhopper is continually. The locust has nevertheless the Senses are our window on the world. Without our senses, we would be nothing. We would experience nothing. We would not truly be alive we would not survive. The animals you are about to see all use their senses in extraordinary ways. They will show you how important are the five senses, how they have developed in amazing ways to meet the needs of particular species in their special environments. You'll experience the hearing of the bat, the sight of the pit viper, the smell of the atlas moth, the taste of the rattlesnake, the touch of the sea anemone as you find out what it's really like to live in the realm of the animal's senses. Many animals can hear a far larger range of sounds than we humans can. Dogs can hear the high-pitched noises that bats emit from their radar guidance systems. This accounts for the little-known fact that dogs are much better at getting out of the way of vampire bats than we are. Most foxes use their powerful sense of smell to locate their next meal. Most foxes use their powerful sense of smell to locate their next meal. But the bat-eared fox, which lives in South and East Africa, uses its fabulous ears to listen for its prey. She is normally on the listen-out for insects which live beneath her feet, the termites and dung beetles that scurry through underground tunnels. Even their tiny footfalls are picked up by the bat-eared fox, a prelude for her excavation and kill. Although the owl is renowned for its large, forward-facing eyes, its hunting success surprisingly depends on its sense of hearing. The owl's audio equipment is highly specialized. Depressions on either side of its beak actually amplify sound arriving at the owl's head. Some sharp-eyed owl experts have also discovered that owl's ears are in different places. The ear on the right is higher than the ear on the left. Around the ears are small troughs which help to guide sound into the owl's ears. One points up, the other down. These special features give the owl a very clear stereoscopic hearing. It can tell very precisely from which direction every sound is coming. The owl's wings are also a help in hunting. Their fringed edges make the owl virtually silent in flight. This gives the owl a double advantage. The prey can't hear the owl, but the owl can hear the prey. Bats are also masters of night hunting. 
they use a highly sophisticated sonar system that wouldn't be out of place on a modern night fighter. And just like a jet fighter, it's used for navigation and hunting. The Mexican pallid bat sends out a stream of high-frequency sonar pulses from its nose. We can't hear them. They're above the range our ears are tuned to. The pulses hit surrounding objects and bounce off in different directions. From the echoes that return to the bat's sensitive ears, it knows precisely where obstacles and prey are located. Scientists have discovered that bats can still fly and kill effectively, even when they've been blindfolded. Marine mammals are also experts in sonar technology. Marine mammals are all marine marine mammals birds also use echolocation human vision unlike some of our other senses compares very well with the sight of many animals not only do we have 3d stereoscopic color vision but we can also see over a large range of distances and with very accurate detail you might think that sight is only one ability, but animals actually see in many different ways according to their particular lifestyle and environment. You might think that sight color is one of the true joys of sight. Color is some animals have visual abilities we can only dream of. Some animals have visual abilities we can only dream of. The chameleon has eyes which can swivel in all directions. Not only that, but each eye is completely independent of the other. This gives the chameleon the best of both worlds when it comes to hunting. It has a wide field of vision when it's looking for food with each eye separately. Then when it's ready to strike with its vicious tongue, it points both eyes in the same direction for excellent 3D vision. The owl has a completely different approach. Its eyes are made up of a huge cornea and lens, which take up nearly all of its eye socket. The owl's eyesight is razor sharp, particularly at night, but she cannot move the eyes in their sockets at all. To make her the great hunter she is, nature has given her a neck that lets her head swivel more than 180 degrees in each direction. With this flexibility, she can see all around her without even moving her body. The archerfish and kingfisher, which both hunt between water and air, have learned to deal with the problems of refraction. The South American fish, Cuatro Ojos, literally four eyes, has some of nature's most extraordinary eyes. Each one is actually divided into two. The top half is perfectly suited for viewing life above the water, the lower half for what's going on below. It actually lives in two elements simultaneously. Insects' eyes are made up of many tiny lenses. Insects' eyes, Insects eyes are made up of many tiny lenses. You've heard of the phrase, all eyes. Well, the scallop has as many as 40. Each pearly orb is not very good at seeing things in detail, but they are highly sensitive to movement. This is an important asset to the scallop, which is not exactly nature's quickest or most agile escapologist when faced with danger. With strength in this area, we tend to rely heavily on sight, and we're not the only ones. Some animals use sight almost exclusively and would soon die from predation or starvation if they suddenly became blind. We humans have neglected our noses since we stopped hunting for food in the wild. We humans have neglected our noses since many species rely on their sensitivity to smell to make in the mammal world. 
The polar bear is the leading expert in smell. A good sense of smell can make up for deficiencies in other areas. The American beaver eats leaves and the bark of young trees. He spends quite a time sniffing these trees before he's willing to give it the thumbs up or the thumbs down. Its search for food is focused on the leaves of just one plant, the Cecropia, which grows abundantly. The sloth is using its sense of smell as a kind of preventative medicine. If it were to eat any other plant than the Cecropia, the animal could easily suffer from poisoning. For some species, smell is very important for successful breeding. The Atlas moth wins the prize for being the most smell sensitive of all the animals. To start the mating process, the female moth releases pheromones to attract males. The male is so sensitive to these aphrodisiac chemicals that he can detect one or two tiny molecules of the pheromone from as far away as 11 kilometers. But in the animal kingdom, smell still plays a key role in the fight for survival. Some animals use their well-developed sense of taste to select the safest and most beneficial food. You might not expect the rat to be a gourmet of the animal world, but it actually pre-tastes all its food before it eats it. Hunter and Hunted. Faced with the threat of a some nevertheless the lo flee no yeah some at uh, in the there are what few and the among the the cut perhaps not sat the 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 point flight is one of nature's greatest inventions. The beauty, mystery, and freedom of flight have captivated mankind since we saw the first birds. And while the animals have been flying for nearly 300 million years, it is only in this peculiar century that our envy of flying creatures has been satisfied. We have used our new abilities for travel, for transportation, for making war. It was very similar for the animals. Flight brought them new possibilities too. Food from new sources, larger territories, and the ability to escape more enemies. We have learnt much about flight from the animals, but they will always be the masters. We will always be the pupils. 300 million years ago, the animal world took a giant leap forward and upward. Flight had arrived. The pioneering species which made the first brave test flights were all insects. About two arc it birds and in all kest the humming the flight of You might think that flying is just a form of transport. But some birds use flight to catch food, or even to catch a mate. Male birds are famous for showing off with elaborate flying dances in the mating season. Letting the females see their color. Soaring and gliding. Up. The former perfects it. The flight of the bumblebee, the hummingbird, 